Hey guys, Kotsky back again with another episode of Let's Play Tales of Exilia. Where we last left off, we got to see the wyverns of Shandu and did some exploring, but... So many of the statues have beards! <laughs> the allure of a well-kempt beard transcends all cultural bounds. Indeed it does, Rowan. Indeed it does. Alright, so... We're supposed to head to this... Take the ferry to the aerial arena. So I guess up there is the aerial arena? Huh. I hadn't I'd never had any idea where the arena was. I thought it was just someplace over the rainbow. Um, let's talk to this woman. Excuse me? Did you drop something, ma'am? Mm hmm Or are you up to no good? Oh, of course not. I was just researching the man behind this statue, Master Hemming. I'm a historian, at least when I'm not teaching. The name's Carla. Carla Outway. Jude Mathis. Tipo, two E's, one P. Get it right. And what's your name? Uh, Elise, nice to meet you. Oh, you know, some of the children I teach are right around your age. And how Sounds old like Tara Platt. Twelve. Twelve, huh? I know, why don't we have a little pop quiz? Think you can pass? A uh, quiz? Okay. There's an arena here in Shandu where all the different tribes compete. Do you know who holds the record as the youngest champion ever? The youngest champion ever? Uh... Who gives a quiz before teaching a lesson? She can't answer if she doesn't... Oh, wait. Elise, look! Master Hemming! Correct. Good job. Waha! I'm the quiz master! Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm running late. I hope to see you later. Okay, see ya! To be concluded. To be concluded. Uh, let's take the ferry. Yeah, let's get to the call soon. I had no idea this Colosseum was in the air. Does this seem where humans fight monsters and each other for amusement? I can almost smell the blood and sweat that permeates these stones. Oh, ew. ew. Alright, let's rearrange our party a bit. Let's long take load now. Put Leia in. Maybe we have some William Orb to um allocate. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, he has two more, I believe, and he's set. See her a little bit more than Jude's been. My guess is it's the um those nodes that have the um thingy surrounding them. Oh, yeah, this. A node that has one of those circle thingies surrounding it. You need to learn that first before you expand your work. That's what it's looking like to me. Elise, Elise, Elise. Get you some HP, some magic, some more magic, and some more magic. She learned the power handle defensive skill. Alright, let's let's assign some skills to these guys. Let's get chivalry. Momentary game. That sounds cool. Medical meditation to be charge plus two, yes. Immunity, okay. Quick recover. Thing death. Dash. Down burst. Um, 
good combo siphon for you. Health jog. Good combo support. Flash guard. Combo siphon, I guess. Assault, water guard. Um, um, aerial dash. And jump cancel. Pow hammer, field guard, military gain, and uh, morale support. Absolute reduction, strong arm, HP gain. CP game, um, assault, water guard, solid guard, point conversion. Wait, no, 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 not point conversion. I know what that does. No way. Um, what can I give Alvin? He has like two more. Oh, flash guard. Sure, why not? Okay, so now we assign skills and stuff. Well, let's talk. I don't know the rule. An uncultured of hill people? Hello? Hey, we took the ferry to the. Oh, we forgot to talk to you, uh, this guy. Let's see what you're made of. We're going to have you fight some of our clan's monsters. Take care. This is strictly practice, of course, but accidents happen. And don't hold back. This voice sounds so familiar. Where did I hear it? Where did I hear it? Where did I hear this guy's voice from? Of course. This way. His voice sounds so familiar. This is going. This is going to annoy the hell out of me. Maybe you're a little too into this, Leia? Oh, come on! Aren't you ready to rumble? I guess. I'm not sure I'd put it like that. Your old wounds aren't acting up, are they? Huh? Uh, no. It's fine. Now that we're doing this, it's gonna have to heal whether it likes it or not. Time to start the test. Are you sure you're ready? Yes, go ahead. We'll be watching from the stands. Oh, these guys are chumps. Get your weapons out, everyone! It's time to rock and roll. Demon Fang! Shoulder. Ouch. Thank you, Base Jock Summer Doodle. Excellent. I was afraid we might have to jump in and rescue you, but clearly that wasn't necessary. Of course not. We're unbeatable. My apologies. I guess I underestimated you. Just me? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure everybody underestimates you. Hey, don't make fun of my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Tomorrow's tournament will be even more challenging. They used to be fought to the death. It was the only way to determine the ruling clan. Whoa. Fortunately, things are different now. The current king of Ajul outlawed that old practice. Sounds like the king's a real prince! Anyway, the real test will be tomorrow. I've gotten you rooms at the inn. Make sure to get a full night's rest. Alright, cool! You can get a nice rest at the inn. So, why build a coliseum up in the sky? To ensure a decisive battle. 
In the olden days, the loser would be the one who gets pushed out of the ring. Wow. People here sure get excited about these tournaments. Do you not like competitive sports? I don't have anything against them, but I don't get the appeal either. I guess that isn't very manly of me, huh? I don't consider that a bad thing. It definitely defines who you are. The world is far more interesting with people being different from one another. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better about it. But hey, don't get me wrong. I'm still interested in the tournaments from a cultural perspective. Don't they have some major significance in the history of Ajul? The clans have a history of lengthy conflicts and a shared reference for individual strength. The purpose of the tournaments may be a way to unify the clans under their common belief. Let's hope that belief binds them together, rather than causing more turmoil. Alright, so... Um, oh, there's an item shop right here. Let's see what we can expand. Oh man, this item shop's gonna be expanded to hell and back. Level 35! New items is on Miracle Gel Treat specific. The item shop has discounts, lemon gel, pineapple gel, treat specific. Sweet. Let's um, do something about our weapon shop here. Harpy Ogie Stormbringer and a bunch of discounts. <coughs> Herbs! We got a giant shell. Sold some hazardous liquid too. Our sweet. Let's take advantage of these discounts. Today only. We actually buy pineapple gels now. They aren't as expensive as before. Alright, let's head to the inn and get some rest. For sure everyone's bushed. Oh, we should probably expand our orbs too while we're at it. <coughs> get some SP for Alvin. Some TP for Alvin. Get some magic for Alvin. And that's good. SP from the uh, strength from the uh. So it's good. Alright, there was only two that level up. Yes, let's return to the city. Let's return to the sun to Sunshine City, shall we? All these statues seem to be of great warriors from Era's past. So when I get super strong, you think they'll make a statue of me too? It appears all of the statues in Shandu were carved by hand, without the use of spirit arts. Statue carving served as a part of a warrior's training. Well, they sure had their work cut out for them. Indeed. Is this it? Yes, it is. Jurgen. Ready to fight? Good. Today's schedule is packed. Because of the number of participants, the tournament organizers decided to cram all the fights into one day. One day? Sounds rough. We'll find out how many fights there'll be once today's matchups are announced. When you hear the bell tolling, come to the arena at once. That heralds the start of the tournament. We'll be waiting up at the arena. All right, cool. I guess we have some time to kill. What should we do? I'm going to the plaza. Something's been bothering me. Oh, I'll come with you. I'll get two antsy just oh, okay. standing around here. Uh, a text. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll tag along too. What should I do? Hey, Jude, let's go sightseeing. I want to look around the city too. Oh, yeah. You did say this place seems familiar. I shall escort Miss Elise. Will you accompany us? Sure, why not? Don't forget. Race to the arena when you hear the bell. Gotcha. Alright, let's move on. So I guess this is way out of now in real quick. Oh, to the plaza! I think this is the plaza. Investigate the site of the landslide, okay. Important. Isla! You seem to have healed nicely. Yep, thanks to you. You know Alvin? Uh, no. It's fine, Dr. Isla. The good doctor here is actually taking care of my mother. Is that right? She's here in town? Oh, so that's why you have so much local knowledge. Her health's not so good. My father's gone, and I don't have any brothers or sisters. So the doctor keeps an eye on her when I'm away. You just told us more about yourself in one minute than you have since we met. If you say so, I just... I just want to make her better so I can take her back home. Where's that? Is it far from here? Farther than you can imagine. Well, if there's anything we can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. Sure, yeah, if I think of anything. All right. Jurgen, shouldn't you be at the arena? I had to run an errand. I didn't know you were friends of Isla. Yep. We didn't know you two were friends either. We're more than just friends. Isla's my fiance. Fiance. Wow, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Isla, these people are serving as our clan's champions in the tournament. Is that so? Oh, marriage. I know what that is. May you breed like rats and produce many children that survive childbirth. Uh... <laughs> the tournament's starting. I'm sorry. I'd come watch, but I have to work today. That's too bad. Pray for our victory. Well, we better head to that arena real quick. Or we're gonna be late. Sorry, I was busy looking at my phone. Getting text messages left and right. All aboard! Oh, Jurgen, you were with them. Have their companions arrived? Yes, they're waiting. All right, let's join up with the others. Jude, guess what? Jurgen and Isla know each other. They're actually engaged. You're kidding. When's the big day? <laughs> Come on, stop it, you two. It's not for a while. And get this, Isla is taking care of Alvin's mom. It really is a small world. Wait, what's wrong with Alvin's mom? No need to worry about her, busybody. What about you? Learn anything about Elise? A little. She seems to have remembered something about her parents. Not enough to give us any clues, though. I see. Playtime's over. We're just about to get started. Head to the reception desk when you're ready. We're expecting big things from you. Knock him dead. 
All right. It's time. So they want you come. And now our next combatants, the champions of the Kitaro clan. Oh, yes. Look at all the people. You won't be at your best if you're nervous. Relax. R right. They're the only combatants who won't be controlling monsters with beastcraft. Is that important? Their skills are a complete mystery. This will either be a short fight or an interesting one. Um, did he just say monsters? Here come their opponents! Let's do this. Sate. Yaruka. Don't get killed. Okay. Oh. Okay. It's over. Watch a pro in action. <laughs> Okay. Terror Look out. Terror I have your back. Let's do this. Okay. Fourth way. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. And finished. So, enemies will use items, and Leia can help stop. And now it's time for our next match. <laughs> Chumps. For sure, Alvin has fire art. Art fire. Oh, like he doesn't have variable trigger yet. Take that. <laughs> Not bad. I hope I can. I'm just getting. These yakisoba noodles really help. But now we're all hungry again. Okay, champions, make this one count. Like you can beat us. <laughs> So are they all weak winners this battle? <laughs> and finished. Hi, old Scotty. Why is done didn't passed out? We did it, we won! Of course! 
Naturally. I nearly went the other way, though. Come on, that was a cinch. I agree with Alvin. I beg to differ. Those matches were quite demanding. Our little buddy Alvin's a big fat liar, right, Ellie? Yes, it wasn't easy at all. Oh, come on, guys. It's clear that my strength has grown. I should be ready now. Nice work out there. Those were some fantastic fights. The finals begin after lunch. All the other entrants will be there too, though, so don't expect cheery company. Anyway, you better grab some food. It's one time! What's up with her? I don't know. So I said to the guy, as if, and then I shot him. Scoping out our opponents for the finals? Well, yeah, of course. What if you spy a cute little she-warrior? Someone who's totally your type. What? Why would that make a difference? I'm here to fight, not flirt. <laughs> We've made it to the finals. To be honest, I wasn't sure you had it in you. Why? We told you we'd win. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, please help yourselves. You'll need to have enough energy to win the finals. Huh? What's up, Mila? Jurgen, we've got a problem. What is it? Turns out that rock fall was no accident. They found signs that someone destroyed the cliff intentionally. What? Don't touch the food. What? <laughs> what? What's happening? Do you detect that faint odor? I know of this, yes. There can be no doubt. It's Metasenia. A poison that dissolves in liquid. Are you serious? Why would anyone do this? Do our opponents want to win that badly? No, it wasn't them. Only one group would use such cowardly means. <clears throat> Alvin, wait! What's going on? Things were going so well. Why is this happening? Mila, do you know something? Something serious is going on! <sighs> Exodus is behind this conspiracy. What's that? It's an organization that has been trying to assassinate me for some time. Wait, so you're saying that poison just now? was likely intended for me. I am truly sorry for those who died instead. Goodness. To think they would murder a room full of people indiscriminately just to kill you. Yes. They've never been very subtle with their measures. But this act was especially heinous. That's terrible! Why are they after you? Because I've been destroying their Spyrexes. Ever since Exodus first appeared with them, 20 years ago. That's quite some time ago. Hold on. Does that include the Lance of Kresnik? That weapon uses Spyrix. Does that mean Exodus is involved? I suspect the Lance was originally made by Exodus, but I cannot prove it. It's not easy to identify their members. They've blended into the populace. Until now, I've only been able to do so when they used Spyrex. I can sense the spirits dying because of it. Wait, what? Every time a Spyrex generates arts, it drives spirits to their deaths. Humans and spirits have a reciprocal relationship. You borrow their power to live, while spirits live off the mana produced by humans' mana lobes. At first glance, Spyrex might seem like a dream come true. In actuality, it throws this delicate balance completely off kilter. As long as Spyrex exists, 
Neither humans nor spirits can live in peace. I feel like such a fool. This is all news to me. Of course it is. I've been dealing with these matters on my own while ensuring that humans remain unaware. Mila's been fighting this whole time? Yeah. She's been struggling all by herself. For the world. For us. Huh. Until recently, that is. Now that I've lost the power of the Four, I've dragged humans into my struggle. For that, I am sorry. How is everyone? We were the meal's only survivors. Naturally, the finals have been postponed. Don't expect to fight for two days, possibly longer. They didn't cancel them? The tournament committee had a heated debate over the issue. But this tournament is only once a decade. Any sign of Alvin yet? Unfortunately, no. I see. Well, please pass along the news. I'll return once the details are decided. All right. All right. Shit's going down. Do we should forfeit the tournament? I think so too. You're probably right. We're all exhausted. Let's retire for the day and revisit this. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right. Ah. <sighs> Things gone to shit. It's come to the point where I can't let him carry on any longer. He said his mother was here in town. Find Alvin. Yeah, I know where Alvin is. He's up there. Where'd you come from? Is this your house? Mom's, actually. Look, I'm sorry I darted off like that. I was just about to head back to the inn. <clears throat> Aren't we frisky today? Tell me what you know about Exodus. Exodus? That's some new music group? I heard you talking with Derek that night in La Ronde. You were faking it? That's cheating, you know. You're not one to talk. Answer the question. Are you a member of Exodus? Give me a break. I hate those jerks as much as you do. They've blackmailed me into working for them. I want out, but I'm stuck. Because of your mother. You believe me? Well, to paraphrase Tipo, you are a big fat liar. Well, the spot's got that right. No point in roughing me up for answers. Because <laughs> you can't trust anything I say. <laughs> hey, where are you going? To search for the Exodus agents. Mind if I tag along? You know, in case you feel frisky again. Do whatever you want. Do what you want. Alright. So, Alvin is with us. Alright, I'm gonna save the game. Then yeah, we'll come back with more Let's Play Tales of Exilia and all that good stuff. Skatsu, signing off. Have a good one, everyone.